and welcome to the second two-wheel dock. Thanks for joining me. This time I'm heading up to Leek in Staffordshire where I'll meet nine times Paralympic champion Lee Pearson. Now Lee is the most successful dressage rider in the world. He's won more gold medals, won more championships than anyone else. But what I want to know is how much do you value his team and what does it mean to be part of Team GB? Hi, my name is Lee Pearson. I was born with arthrogryphosis multiplex congenita and I compete at the Paralympic Games in the Power Equestrian events in the sport of dressage. I've always loved horses. I had a donkey when I was six years old because I couldn't pedal a bicycle. And then th throughout my kind of teenage years I had um, horses and things. And then I saw the Power Equestrian um, Games were at the Paralympic Games in Atlanta on television. I thought I could do that. And then I competed in the Sydney Paralympic Games and then the Athens Paralympic Games and then the Beijing Paralympic Games. And I'm aiming for the London 2012 Paralympic Games. I have a huge team behind me. Huge team of sponsors, huge team of staff, huge team of friends and family and then on the world class performance programme which is the lottery funded programme we have like managers, physios for the horse, physios for humans, psychologists for me, no psychologists for the horse, um, trainers, grooms, international grooms, travelling grooms, it's humongous, it's a huge pie chart so yeah it does look like a very individualised sport when we're in the arena and to be honest when I'm riding my horse it is just me and him, I don't see or hear the crowds or the support team but it's a huge team to get me in the arena, yeah. I just take it for granted that I go out there and I've been accused of being a medal machine, I just go out there and, and, and do my best and win. You've seen kind of the angle from the photography today, it's kind of like, right, let's just get the job done and then we can go and relax and party. And it's a bit like that when we go and represent, represent the country now, it's like, let's just get the job done and then we can relax. But the first few years, it's the buzz is phenomenal. You can't believe that somebody from Stoke-on-Trent who used to work behind a desk in an office um, can be representing their country really, but um, it is a great honour, but I've got a lot of pressure on my shoulders, so the buzz kind of leaves a little bit and you just have to be twice as focused as I used to be. Since 1994, Great Britain has win, won the team medal at European, World and Paralympic Championships every single year. So it's more of a buzz of maintaining that success and not letting any other country um, beat us, but they are chasing our tail. Excuse the pun with the horses. Um, they are chasing our tail and getting closer and closer, so uh, London 2012 isn't going to be a walkover for the team medal or, or any individual medal. It's going to be phenomenal, it's going to be a lot of pressure, and mainly now because lots of friends and family that haven't travelled around the world to watch me compete will come down to London. I'm getting numerous emails and, and um, messages via Facebook and everybody's contacting me saying, Lee, which days are you competing? So I've got a, I've got, I, I copy and paste the same answer now. <laughs> I think the Olympics is going to blow this country away really, um, even if you're not into sport, you're going to get Olympic and Paralympic fever. I've been to the Palace seven times in total. Uh, three New Year's honours. They're really making me work for that knighthood, I think. Uh, I was presented by the Queen for the MBE, Prince Charles for the uh, uh, OBE, and Princess Anne for CB. And she was more excited to see me than I was to see her. <laughs> she is rather lovely. You kind of go into this room and you're kind of told um, exactly where you should stand, when you should bow, when you should speak, when you should step back, and in reality you get it all mixed up because you're so nervous because the Queen's in front of you. Fantastic to meet Lee Pearson, what a man, what an incredible athlete. Lovely setting as well, Staffordshire. A lot hillier than I remember. I made it back to London in one piece. The countdown to London 2012 is now on and I wish Lee all the best. I really hope to see him in 2012. And I hope he takes home another three gold medals. Thanks for watching, until next time, bye bye.